Liquor is getting the best of me already, which is a disaster. And I'm going to say something that might be a little unpopular. All right? Please don't jump down my throat on this. ISOM 2 is a huge campaign. A smashing success. $2.3 million. ISOM 1 was $3.7 million. And some people expected ISOM 2 to outdo ISOM 1. And to them, I say, that was a poor expectation. And you should not have had it. Not because sequels never outsell the original. But the reality is, ISOM number one, and for whatever you think of Dick, Vito, or any of the other people who have said negative things about ISOM, ignore the negative. Ignore that. There's one thing they're 100% right on. ISOM was sold as a concept, which is fine. It's the hype of a parallel economy. It's an independent creator breaking out. It's the story of the creation, not the product, that is selling ISOM number one. Great. You will hear me support that a billion times out of a billion. I love indie creation. I love buying stuff from creators that I like, that I know, that I've met, that I've talked to. I say, I know this guy. He's, he's genuine. The second book will not carry that hype typically because that product is exhausted on the first buy. The product was the hype. Buy the book. People who aren't fans buy the book. It's fine. Beautiful. The second product is a different story. You should not expect a second campaign to outsell a first. And that expectation can be damaging. And I hope everything's good. I want Eric to make 500 more books and each one to continue to grow. I think the second book is a good barometer of the potential for the third and the fourth book, better than the first. Because the hype train left the station. It's on a different schedule. Second and third are more consistent with fans purchasing, fans of comics. Because I'm not a fan of comic books, right? Not a big fan. You guys know this. If you listen to me talk, like I, I, I don't know a ton. I don't, I'm not buying comics every week or anything like that. I love supporting people I like, but I'm not going to buy a million things. It's fine. It's just who I am. So it's going to be a lot of people who hit that first one who won't hit the second one. The second one's a great, great indicator that ISOM stands to make a ton of money if it can keep going. But it really depends on how it's managed. And I hope it's being managed well. I trust Eric. I think he's a good dude. I think he's got his heart in the right place. And I want him to, again, I want him to succeed all over the place. And I don't think that saying, ah, oh, some two made less than I some one is like some attack. I don't think it's a criticism or a critique. I think it's a reflection of reality. And if the reality is every book they put out is going to make $2 million, $2.3 million dollars, Maybe maybe get up to three million or whatever after the sales, uh, the the post market sales or whatever. Great, fantastic. You have a you have a sustainable idea of how to do business. Budget around it. But I am a little concerned that maybe the first one was used as a barometer, and that's not great internet marketing. So, 